North Korea is the most reclusive country in the world. Outsiders aren't allowed to visit, and people who live there aren't allowed to leave. This is why they are called the Hermit Kingdom. The country is distrustful of everyone else in the world. The residents mostly live in poverty, and their lives are run by propaganda. 24 million people are living in North Korea, but we know very little about their lives. In this video, we'll take a look at what life inside North Korea is like through a shocking collection of photos. Faxverse presents Life Inside North Korea Revealed, 25 Chilling Photos. If you're glad you don't live in North Korea, click the like button. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our future videos. The World's Largest Stadium North Korea is home to the world's largest stadium. Rungardo Stadium has a seating capacity of 150,000. Michigan Stadium in the United States comes in second with 107,000 seats. North Korea has its own time zone. In 2015, North Korea created its own time zone called Pyongyang Time, and it was named for the country's capital. Capital. The time zone is 30 minutes behind South Korea and Japan. The reason they created their own time zone was to celebrate the 70th anniversary of Korea's liberation from Japan. Ordered haircuts. Kim Jong-un's hairstyle looks silly to most of the world. In North Korea, it is considered ambitious. All men are ordered to have the same hairstyle as the ruler. All women are told to either copy his wife's hairstyle or keep it at bob length. The people of North Korea cannot do their hair the way they'd like. Click the like button if you're glad you can wear your hair however you'd like. Less than 3% of North Korea's roads are paved. There are over 15,500 miles of roads in North Korea, and only 450 miles are paved. This is less than 3%. The roads that are paved are the ones traveled the most by Kim Jong-un. Three generations of punishment. The last thing that a person in North Korea wants to do is break the law. This is because they won't be the only one punished. Their family will be punished for the crime, and the next three generations of their family will also be punished. Since your family will suffer for your actions for years, it's best not to break the law. North Koreans only have three TV channels. In North Korea, they only have three TV channels, and every program is government-run. Korean Central Television is the main channel, and it's available all over the country all the time. The other two channels are only available on the weekends. Nothing will be seen on TV unless the government has approved of it. North Korea captured a United States Navy ship. In 1968, North Korea captured a U.S. spy ship called the USS Pueblo. There were 83 Americans on board. The Americans were held hostage for almost a year, and the incident almost started a full-blown war between North Korea and the United States. Since then, the relationship between the two countries has been cold. North Korea has 51 social categories. In many parts of the world, citizens are allowed to disagree with their government and how it's run. This is not the case in North Korea. The citizens are categorized based on how loyal they are to the government. The most loyal rank the highest, and they are given more privileges. The capital city is only for the elite. Pyongyang is the capital of North Korea. Unlike the capital cities of other countries, not everyone can live in Pyongyang. Only the most loyal and trustworthy to the regime are allowed to live there. Kim Jong-un and the government decide who is worthy of living in the capital city. Those who aren't must find another place to live. Household radios cannot be turned off. Every household in North Korea is given a government radio. There is a strict rule that these radios can never be turned off. Citizens can turn down the volume of the radios, but they need to stay on at all times. North Korea has one of the largest militaries in the world. There are just under 1.2 million active duty troops in the North Korean military. This means that roughly 4.7% of the population is an active duty member of the military. Illegal substances in North Korea are unregulated. Considering all the laws and rules in place in North Korea, it's surprising that illegal substances are allowed more than in most other parts of the world. On average, 30% of citizens use illicit or illicit substances. The most common are uppers. They are used as an appetite suppressant. They're also used to keep workers awake so they can spend more time in their trades. There are political elections every five years, but they aren't fair. Every five years, the dictatorship holds elections. The election isn't designed to replace Kim Jong-un because he stays in power of his dictatorship until his death. The ballot is for the office of the Supreme People's Assembly deputy. There is only one name on the ballot. Those who agree to vote for them put their ballot in one box. Those who don't put their ballot in the no box. Those who vote are not anonymous. A person's identity is listed on the ballot so the People's Assembly deputy will know who was against them, which isn't good for this social class ranking. North Korea uses a different calendar. Most of the world uses the Gregorian calendar, also known as the Western or Christian calendar. North Korea is the only country that uses the Juchi calendar. It was introduced in 1997 and is based on Kim Il-sung's birthday, which was April 15, 19. 1912. Kim Il-sung scammed and stole from Sweden. North Korea isn't the most honest country, and they have very little integrity. One example of this is what Kim Il-sung did to Sweden. In 1974, he ordered 1,000 Volvo 144 sedans, but they never paid Sweden for the cars. They were delivered, but Sweden never received the payment. Every year, the Swedish government sends the country an invoice for $2.8 million, which is what the cars were worth. Fortunately for North Korea, they aren't charging interest. Blue jeans are illegal in North Korea. Jeans are very expensive in North Korea. Only the wealthy 
nobody can afford them, but they have to be black jeans. Kim Jong-un issued a law making blue jeans illegal in the country. He wanted to crack down on residents who are influenced by Western fashion. He hates the United States and its citizens, so he doesn't want the people in his country dressing like Americans. North Korea has a propaganda city. There's a city in North Korea called Kijangdong. It was built in the 50s, and nobody lives there. Most of the buildings in the city are fake, and others are hollow shells with windows painted on. North Korea built the city, hoping that it would tempt South Koreans to defect to North Korea. Since South Koreans have many more freedoms and privileges, they don't defect to North Korea. The city didn't really serve its purpose, and it still sits there today. Accordions are a big deal in North Korea. In 1990, a rule was passed that all teachers must learn how to play the accordion. Today, teachers still learn to play, as do many of the residents. Why this particular instrument is so important is unknown, but they really love it over there. North Korea's basketball rules differ from every other country. North Koreans love basketball, and it's an obsession over there. If you watch a North Korean basketball game, you'll notice that the rules are different than they are in other parts of the world. It's possible to score a four-pointer, which is a three-pointer that never touches the rim. Also, if you miss a free throw, you have points deducted from your score. In every other part of the world, if you miss a free throw, you just don't score. North Korean students have weird required materials. In the United States, students are given a list of materials they will need at the beginning of the school year. The list often includes notebooks, folders, pens, and pencils. In North Korea, students have a required list also, but it's a pretty crazy list. Students in North Korea do need to provide their own pens and papers, but they also need to pay for their own desks, chairs, and heating fuel. This is a lot for many families because most people in North Korea live in poverty. Half of the population lives in extreme poverty. Sadly, half of the 24 million people in North Korea live in extreme poverty. These people don't have access to basic human needs like clean water, food, and electricity. This is something that the government doesn't try to improve in any way. Makeup is only for the very wealthy. Makeup is considered an extreme display of wealth. Only those in the privileged class can afford to buy makeup. Those who can't afford to buy makeup prefer South Korean brands over Chinese or North Korean products. The average life expectancy has fallen since the 80s. Today, the life expectancy in North Korea is 69 years old. It has fallen by five years since the early 80s. These numbers come from the official statistics from the North Korean government, so the real number could be lower. The North Korean government isn't known for their honesty. North Korea isn't technically a communist nation. North Korea says they work under Kim Il-sung's ideology. This includes rejecting dependence on others, using one's own brain, and believing in one's strength. These are ideas that stem from communist leaders. Even though they don't say they are communists, they are. North Korea is the most corrupt country in the world. In 2015, the Corruption Perceptions Index deemed North Korea and Somalia tied for the most corrupt nations in the world. The scores go from zero, which is very corrupt, to 100, which is very honorable. North Korea scored an 8. It can be hard to imagine what it's like to live in North Korea, but these photos give us a glimpse into the reality of its citizens. Now we'd like to hear from you. Do you think you could live in North Korea, or are you happy to live where you are now? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Facts Verse for more videos.